Welcome back everybody to Tony's Top Tips Workshop. Um, I do apologise to my subscribers for, as I explained in the last video, I've been quite tied up. Um, <laughs> I've finished it now. I've finished the toilet, the cloakroom upstairs. So that's done and dusted so I can get back to um, creating some videos. Now, this video is about, I've had uh, a couple of questions actually, and it's about um, the z-axis the um, actual upgraded one but the old one as well it's interchanging the parts now I understand where um, the people asked the question came from, uh, are coming from what you you what the suggestion is that now I've acquired this off the internet because mine was really scrap I took these the stepper motor off and that I've put that on mine but I managed to get hold of a frame just to demonstrate this. Um, now, on mine, as you can see, this isn't, but what happened on mine is that goes that way up. That bush in there kept coming out. And no matter what I did to try and keep it in, it it, it had come out. Now, I suspect that it's because the, the bush was the same size as the other one when I took it out so it wasn't the bush it was the housing the housing was slightly oversized and uh, I noticed it more as this was working it would move it up and down and then eventually this would drop out and if you weren't careful then that's where you ended up with the discrepancies on the uh, the machining that you were doing so anyway this gentleman said that um, and and there were a, a couple more questions about interchanging the parts now this is mine this is i just put this on for show um i put my stepper motor on and i saved the from the scrap one i saved the actual limit switches because there's nothing on with them but everything else came with the um the unit that i've uh, i purchased on the uh from ebay actually um now what the 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 question's being posed is is the amount of movement that you can get on your z-axis now what they've posed to me is if they use that part of the z-axis on the new part to get a 10 millimeter extra in travel yes you would I've not swapped them over I don't know whether the machine is the same so they'd fit I don't know on that um, but the whole idea of the upgraded z-axis the reason why it's longer in, in fact what I'll do is I'll take you down to the machine it's on here and I'll, I'll show you uh, I hope you all can see that right. Whoops. this is the old one that is the upgraded one now as I've shown in the previous it's it's about 10 mil difference in length is the frame now that's to account for the collar of the which gives it more stability now um, is for that there that difference it's that is longer than that one okay so hence that is longer in order to give you the same amount of travel now what the the, the gentleman's um, are proposing to do is swap that part onto here which will give them more travel yeah in theory if that fits on there you will get more travel but what you've got to remember is that this was done to give you that stiffness and it is a lot more rigid because that's wider there and obviously it gives you more surface area over that rod so hence it's harder to bend so it's harder to flex so that gives you its rigidity okay now you put that on there yes it will give you 10 mil difference but i'm not so sure that it will give you it um, i think it would make things worse than it does on this because if you look at that that's a short shaft okay so a short shaft if that was down there you'd have a job on flexing that but because of the length that flexes a lot okay that wasn't the case on mine 
Um, let me put you straight on that. But if you put that in there, you have a longer shaft. So you what that flicks, you're going to increase that more. And what's more is you don't know how these are machined. You don't know whether they're the same tolerances as this. So, I mean, there's nothing... Yes, you gain, gain 10 mil, but I think you gain a lot more flexibility and, and, and flexing in that, that um, Z-axis frame. Um, I wouldn't, and I'm not recommending doing it, not that there'd be any danger in that sense, but what it will do is it might give you more discrepancies on your engraving or your machining. Uh, and the whole idea of that upgraded frame was to make it more rigid and I can honestly say on mine it has. I've used it over and over again. I haven't done it in the past whew, three weeks, four weeks because I've been busy with the upstairs cloakroom but I, ju I just hope you can understand that I don't think it's wise to swap that that, that on mine was faulty anyway I couldn't have done it but no would I have done because that there is flexing more than that so if you put that on there you're going to increase your flex your flexing so it's to me it's a non non starter but that's my, that's only my opinion if somebody wants to gain an extra 10 mil and gain more flexing, a chance of more flexing, that's fine. That's their decision. It's not mine. Um, but it's... Um, I get all sorts of questions posed to me, and I do answer them all. I'll try. If I know, I will answer. And uh, But my advice is, don't change it. Leave this as it is, because... I've, I've found no difference in travel, and again, an extra 10 mil. I don't think it's, you know, I mean, there's one gentleman, um, he, he posed uh, a question, where the actual um, x-axis is fastened to the frames here, the, there's four bolts here, what he anticipated doing, um, he's not got back to me, I said, please let me know how you get on with it, and what he wanted to do was put some spaces in, which, if you look at the... The underneath, there's four bolts on either side, as you know if you put them together. Um, there's four bolts. So if you machine something accurately enough and lift this gantry up, there's not really a limit to what heights you can, within reason, that you can do if you want to put something uh, underneath. Um, but I am, I'm a great believer in, in using the machines to its limitations. Um, people are, are asking for extensions now. Now, people have complained about the flexing of the, the these rods, flexing of the um, y-axis rods. You, I don't know what the extension kits are like, but surely, the longer the rod, the more flexing, especially in the middle. Uh, I'm not a, a great believer. I believe in if you want something to to do a specific job, make sure you've got the machine that is capable of doing that. Um, and I've noticed a lot of questions asked to me is, um, can, have you machined aluminium on it? No. I don't intend to have machine aluminium on it. Um, I don't think it's for that. I'm not saying it won't do it. For me, it's not for that. If I want to machine aluminium, I go do it on the mach pro machine. Uh, it's as simple as that. That will cut aluminium, brass, and steel all day long. But I'm I'm not an engineer, so I don't intend to go down that line. But that's just a, sh a, a sh short video. Um, I mean, I've got a. Uh, he said that it was flexing, and that and there was nothing wrong where I got this from. Uh, he just took it completely off, but he used the stepper motor and the. Uh, the end stop so uh, end of the day um, it cost me a fiver so I'm not grumbling about that so I've got a spare one if I want to use it on something else my project or something but just remember that if you swap the old boss over onto the new one you could end up with more flexing just to give yourself 10 mil difference in height and background um, 
what I'm hoping to do, I mean, I've completed that video, it was only as I felt when I got the questions asked that I could only show it if I had the original. Well, as you well know, um, a gentleman asked me if I could send him mine, but I'd scrapped um, what was no good to me and I kept the stepper motor and that which I put on and I made it look like it was, it, it's as it is, it's come off um, just for purpose of this video. And, and if you remember, when it first started flexing um, and people started noticing I didn't have that issue but a lot of people did and to be fair to Saint Smart they sent a lot of I got a lot of feedback from people saying thanks for advising us um, to get in touch with Saint Smart tell them that you've got problems with it and they, sent, and they just sent me a new Z-axis frame which was absolutely brilliant after sale service um, there were one or two that were trying to pursue it in the work getting anyway but I don't know how they did it or what have you but mine came I told them about my bus dropping out mine was here within three days so you can't be any further than that from St. Smart's site but right put that to one side what I intend on doing if I can get all of them I can source one is I'm going to upgrade my uh, 500 watt spindle here and I'm going to upgrade it to an 800 watt water cooled um, a VFD drive and so I'm hoping it because it's the 65 mil and I have the 65 mil um, collar so and the, the the problem is that I have is this is my garage this is my workshop here and next door is another workshop was another garage it's now a ground floor flat so you can end I have a great difficult noise um, and I can't put a router on here that make too much noise. Now I can run me um, my water cooled spindle. It's very very quiet. This is quieter than a router, and it's but it's still a little bit on the noisy side. So what I'm going to do is upgrade to an 800 watt. It doesn't need a 1.5 kilowatt on this machine. It's for me. I think it's far overkill. Um, what I'm going to be using. I've got a 1.5 kilowatt water cooled on the Pro machine so I don't need that. Um, so I'm going to get that. If I can source one I'll uh, I'll do a video on it and show it up and running so that's my next project. Um, but please you know like like this video came from um, your subscribers and, and other people not just subscribers other viewers asking me questions and, and if I can help I will do it like I've just done here so please like and subscribe it helps me a lot I will answer you and if I can do a video on on your problem I will do so that's it for now until next time be careful be safe and bye for now